Hi Aries, welcome to your reading. Thanks for joining me. This is March 2020. My name is Michelle. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus Signs. Doing something a little bit different from next month. I'm going to be putting out next month's readings in the order of the most liked videos for this month. So if you're interested in getting your video out first, then Aries, please be sure to press that thumbs up button below. Okay, let's take a look. I'm going to pull an oracle card from Mystic Sisters. And this will be your overall energy for the month of March 20, 2020. Alright. I'm not even going to pretend I know how to say that. It's in uh, Gaelic. And uh, unfortunately I don't read Gaelic. So I'm going to have a look at this uh, for you. And uh, I'll, I'll have a go at it. Tuatha de Danan. Apologies to anyone who does speak Gaelic. An ancient tribe in Irish mythology. They were driven to the underworld, an infinite paradise, where no one grew old and time had no meaning. They are aware of their soul path and they open doors for you to reach your destiny. So a mischievous kind of trickster energy, which could cause obstructions and prank you if you've fallen off your path. Their intention is to benefit you, so pay close attention. We all lose our way now and again, our time here, of course, is very precious. So this card is here to remind you to check your spiritual compass to be sure you're heeding your personal calling. So hidden forces and a trickster energy. Could be you, Aries, could be someone around you. Intriguing. Let's have a look at the uh, spiritual guidance for the month for you. Aries. Spiritual message for Aries. What does Aries need to hear? Okay, Storm Wisdom, and I'm going to get an overall energy from the new oracle from Rebecca Campbell. This is a Star Seed Oracle. The overall focus for you for the month of March 2020. Let's take a look at Aries. The overall focus for Aries, please. The overall focus for Aries. We'll take that top one. Okay. It's a nice energy. It's Venus energy. It's pleasure, joy, surrendering to the sweetness, making love to life. Ooh, wow. Let's take a look at this, Aries. So, Aries, wow. I'm really impressed by your energy. The feeling here is of surrendering to the sweetness of life. Enjoying your life, enjoying pleasures, enjoying fun. Enjoyment for the sake of enjoyment, especially if you've been working really hard, spending all of your time focused on uh, building up a business or building a career. This is about you having a little bit more fun and now this Irish trickster energy comes into it, doesn't it? And now I know what they're talking about. It speaks to me of someone who's a little bit mischievous, a little bit playful, having fun, doing something that, that they really enjoy. It might be long-term energy, it might be a short-term energy. Perhaps you're going on vacation or you're taking some time away from work to focus on play. Uh, there's a feeling around this of uh, tasting the fruits, letting your senses take over, drinking in your life with wonder, getting intoxicated on the bounty, that is around you so the, when we speak of the uh, the goddess Ishtar and uh, and Venus energy associated with it of course in Roman mythology Venus was the goddess of love and beauty and in our night sky aside from the moon Venus shines the brightest so time is our most precious resource and it's also the greatest healer so if you've been all work and no play there is an energy here of enjoying beauty and the beauty that is around you. Storm wisdom. Now this could be a, this could be a, a fiercer kind of energy, but it's also a gift. It's a fierce cleansing energy. Storm wisdom. It's thrilling. There is an, a liberation around this as well. Now of course, when we are liberated, when we become freer as a person, 
sometimes we can get uh, to feel a little bit out of control, especially if it feels like something's happening quickly. So what's happening during an experience of storm wisdom or is that anything that's become stagnant or obstructing to your spiritual growth is going to be uprooted. It's a powerful transformation, but it also creates a feeling of upheaval, chaos, uncertainty, but exciting at the same time. So you might feel simultaneously liberated and exhilarated whilst also wondering if everything's going to be okay. There's a feeling around this of needing to relax and let it happen. Let this storm happen. Let this chaos happen in your life. Because it seems to be creating, uh, creating a time for you, one in which you'll feel, be able to play more, be able to enjoy your life more. Whereas a situation that you were in before, I feel it become too stagnating, uh, too, uh, there was no growth. There, there needs to be growth here. And of course, the more we hold on and, and try to uh, uh, maintain the status quo, the more upheaval is required to get you out of that uh, rut. And I feel like there may be some kind of uh, storm or tower event here happening that is causing you to break out or to break free, to liberate yourself from this stuck energy. So Aries, let's take a look. At the bottom of the deck for you, we have the Emperor. Wow, fabulous energy for you. It's your card. It speaks about uh, taking control of your life. Acting for, well, I get it as, well, it's, it's, a, it's a little bit of a, it, the thing is you like to maintain control, Aries. You like to be in control of your own life. You like to be the leader. But the thing is, you're not really in control of your life 100% of the time. And I think you're, you're starting to realize that, Aries. You're starting to say, you know what, maybe I don't need to control every aspect of my life. Maybe I just need to go out and do what calls to my heart. Yeah, a freer kind of energy, uh, more in touch with your emotional side as well. So let's see, we'll throw down some cards here, Aries. We have the Ace of Swords in the reverse. So there is that kind of chaotic energy. We also have the Eight of Cups in the reverse. I feel like uh, that chaotic energy was needed in order to get you away from something that you are reticent to leave. We also have the Three of Coins. The World in reverse. The Five of Wands in reverse. The Empress in the reverse, okay. Strength in reverse, okay. And the Knight of Swords in the upright. And the Five of Cups. Okay, Aries, let's take a look. What do we have here for you? Right in the center right in the center there i feel like there's opposition there's opposition around you and uh, i'm getting a sense well you know i see it as people around you don't want you to change they don't want you to go through this uh, this period of your life which is more about uh, doing what you want to do so I do think that in the past you have been someone who has uh, followed a certain direction, followed a certain path. There's been someone around you, I've got them as the Empress. You were coming up as the Emperor, they're the Empress. So I feel like there's a very strong connection with this person, uh, they may be a spouse. But uh, they're coming up in the reverse, so I feel like there's an energy around them. Uh, that, that's the person here that's causing causing the most conflict within you there's a feeling of impatience around you I get you becoming impatient with uh, with this stagnation and uh, there's some sadness here as well because I feel like there is a perhaps you feel like an opportunity has gone begging or something has been lost here an opportunity 
maybe to travel or to experience more in the world we do have the world in reverse so yeah I, I do feel that you're at loggerheads or you're at odds with uh, someone around you because you want something very badly and they don't want you to have that thing and it's causing a distress it's causing disturbance with this particular person and uh, the thing is that there's not really any I don't get love here I don't get uh, compassion or support for for what you want to do uh, I just get a an energy of work a day something that's become very work a day a situation in which yeah it works and you work together uh, you may be working at jobs you, you come home you eat uh, you eat your, your dinner you eat your supper watch some TV and then and then you you kind of go uh, go and sleep but there's not really much more to it than that I feel it's a situation in which you've stayed in for a very long time one in which uh, there is a, a certain amount of stability and security or the, at least there was but I, I do get this energy here of the emotional component has been lacking for some time but yet you've stayed in it and it's uh, I get it as sadness I'm picking it up as becoming becoming sad that uh, well what are you doing again you're doing the chores around the house uh, you're just uh, fixing things around the house you're doing the dishes doing the laundry all of that kind of thing but uh, where's the fun here where's the excitement and I feel this ace of swords in reverse that there's some I get it as a something that has been brought to your attention recently Aries and I feel like it's caused some kind of chaos a chaotic thought so you may have been just busily working about your your day-to-day -day life and yet having some kind of something brought to your your attention here possibly from your your subconscious is making you feel mainly I'm picking it up as a internal conflict because there's nothing necessarily bad about the situation that you're in it's just become stagnant and a little bit boring that's what I'm picking up yeah <clears throat> I get you becoming impatient I feel that you want something very much very badly uh, there's a lot of regrets here sadness about not taking an opportunity or not having something in your life and there is a connection around the past so you've got a lot of regrets about the past it may be a uh, time I'm picking up that energy of time here wasting time losing time Aries you're feeling like you've lost time and you kind of want to make up for lost time that's what I'm sensing making up for lost time Aries and you really want to enjoy enjoy the, what the world has to offer the pleasures of life the uh, the sensuality of life it says make love to life yeah you, you feel while the 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 situation where you're at is, is okay there's nothing really bad about it it's just that you you know that there's more or you you just want to play you want to be a bit mischievous with this uh, to Arthur D. Danan and please excuse me again uh, if I'm speaking that uh, the wrong way because uh, it is a, a Gaelic energy but it's a, it's Irish trickster it's it's very mischievous kind of playful spirit so you want to get out there and play Aries you do and this ace of swords is the storm that's bringing that that essence around you something's creating this storm energy but it's bringing wisdom with it as well which is really wonderful so there is you're already in the midst of some kind of transformational change now it is challenging you may not be able to see where it ends or you might even uh, be worried about the changes that it's going to cause it, the storm is wild after all but it's also filled with uh, 
with peace after the storm. So you are being helped. You're being asked to trust that you'll come through this. And the, and the reason the storm was needed in your life in the first place is because a gentler method wouldn't have been sufficient to free you. It's like the universe knows that it needs to give you something really big here, some kind of a momentous event that pushes you to make change in your life. And so that's what I'm feeling. So Aries, let's take a look. At the bottom of the deck, there's that Eight of Swords. So there's that entrapment. But uh, it's a prison of your own making. You may have been in the past believing that uh, you couldn't make changes. You may have felt that you couldn't make uh, a transformation in your life. All of that. Okay, Aries. Let's take a look. I'll put down some clarifiers. It's funny because it's like you're traveling directly from being stuck, not being able to to feel like you can get out of a, a, a stagnant situation to immediately, immediately having freedom. And uh, that can be a bit startling. So it's like you're going from one extreme to another. That's how I feel about this, uh, this reading. Now, of course, the Fool energy is wonderful, but we also have to be a little bit mindful as well about, uh, about consequences and, of course, Aries. I feel that that's what, uh, although you've got this, this wonderful energy around you, there is a need here as well just to make sure that you're not uh, doing anything that could be hazardous either to you or to anybody else. Let's see, I'm going to pull some clarifiers. Let's start with that Ace of Swords in Reverse for Aries. What is this Ace of Swords in Reverse? Okay, we've got the Five of Pentacles along with the Three of Cups. I'm going to get one more for that. Ace of Swords in Reverse and the King of Swords. I feel that's your energy. These will be the cards that I'll be reading in the extended reading. I'm going to pull them out here so that you get to see what we will be talking about in the extended. So if this is resonating, I do hope that you join me. The link for that will be below in the descriptions box. It's about another 30 minute reading, so a lot to clarify. But let's have a look at that Eight of Cups. In the reverse, we've got the devil. For some of you Aries, you may be trying to get out of a situation in which you felt like uh, for a long time you didn't have options. Well, suddenly it may be that you, that you have some kind of option or you feel like you have an option. Let's see. What is this Eight of Cups in reverse here for Aries, please? <coughs> you will clarify that Eight of Cups in reverse for Aries. Cards are sticky today. We've got the Hermit in reverse. Okay, you know, you may have felt lonely, you may have felt isolated for a while. Yeah, look at that, the Eight of Swords and the Three of Wands. So something seems to free up your, your mind. There's a feeling here of uh, liberation. Let's take a look at that Three of Coins for Aries. What is this Three of Coins for Aries, please? Okay, we have the Sun, we have the Seven, oh, look at all this. Seven of Swords in Reverse, King of Wands and the Lovers card. Definitely your energy, Aries. Let's take a look at the World in Reverse. Clarify the World in Reverse. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Want to jump out. The world in reverse. We also have the uh, wheel of fortune in reverse and the page of cups in reverse. I feel like there's something that you feel is your destiny uh, that you want to go after. That's like chasing a goal or chasing a dream. Very playful energy. We've got the three of pentacles in reverse. Please clarify the five of wands in reverse. High priestess. Ten of Pentacles, Justice, and the Eight of Pentacles in Reverse. Take all of those. 
the Empress in reverse. I feel this is the opposition here. Chariot. But you do want to overcome the obstacles. Seven of Cups. As I said, there's a, a real need to, and we also have the Ten of Swords and the Queen of Cups. Yeah. Very much an energy here of uh, that sweetness, that more Venusian energy, that uh, uh, pleasure, joy, happiness, seeking that. Uh, ending an old situation, though, I, I do feel... But it's, it, it is for your highest good, this, uh, even though, even though I, I feel that other people around you may not think the same way as you. Let's take a look at strength in reverse for Aries. What is strength in reverse for Aries? Nine of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you're getting impatient. There's this sense of impatience around you, page of swords and reverse. You want to get going, you want to get started, you, you've got some kind of plan. And uh, another page in reverse, page of pentacles in reverse and the four of swords. You, you just feel so like you can't get going at this and it's kind of making you a little bit a uh, little bit crazy. You want to get going. Uh, you want to overcome uh, the challenges that are around you and get started. Now you've had this realization, you're, you're chomping at the bit here to get going. The Knight of Swords for Aries. We have the Hangman in reverse and the King of Pentacles in reverse. And the Fool in reverse as well. I'm going to take it. The Five of Cups. What is this Five of Cups? Six of Swords in reverse. What is this Five of Cups? Queen of Swords. And one more for Aries, please. One more for Aries. Five of Cups. Five of Cups. We have the Eight of Wands in reverse and the Six of Pentacles. Let's take a look at that Irish trickster energy. We've got the Death card. One more for that card and the five of cups surrender to the sweetness let's take a look at that nine of pentacles definitely an enjoyment of life two of swords and one more surrender to the sweetness surrender to the sweetness and the ten of cups beautiful storm wisdom what is this one about? Two of Cups. Storm Wisdom. The Emperor. Looks like you're in love, Aries. It does. Maybe in love with life. There's a feeling here you may be uh, reconciling with someone from the past. Someone who you have regrets over. Let's see. What is this judgment card for Aries? And we also have... King of Cups and in reverse and the Three of Swords in reverse. So I'm going to take those two. Okay, so we'll talk about this in the extended reading. Aries, I do hope that you join me there if this is resonating. But it, it seems like something has come hurtling into your life here. I get love. I feel like something, someone that you love or, or something that you, you really love to do here that is driving this change, this transition in your life. It's uh, propelling you forward into uh, the next phase of your life, one in which you're, you're really seeking to spend more time enjoying things, enjoying your life, both individually and also in the company of other people. So it's beautiful energy. It's, it's quite a, a change for you though, and of course, hurtling from one stage to another quite suddenly I feel is uh, a little bit challenging but uh, it seems to me that you're uh, intent on this course although the only troubling aspect I have around this is that there is some opposition around you uh, possibly from a spouse or a family member someone with strong maternal instincts and uh, that's the, really the only obstacle I see for you the rest seems to be 
Although it's challenging, it's also exhilarating and exciting. And I feel like you can't wait to get going at this. So we'll see where this goes in the extended reading. I do hope you join me. Again, the link is below. It'll be about another 30 minute reading. If you prefer a personal reading, you can email me. My email is gypsyinsights at gmail.com. Don't forget, I'm doing the videos in order of the most liked next month. So if you want your video out before the others, please be sure to press that thumbs up button below and give me a comment as well. That'd be great. Haven't heard from you guys for a while, so Aries, please let me know if you're enjoying these readings. Please uh, also uh, forward uh, or share me around on, on social media as well. Get the word out if you're enjoying these readings as well. I'd really appreciate that. If you're a new person, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you. And don't forget to click the notification bell. Wishing you the best with this Aries. I'll see you in part two. I'll speak to you again soon. Bye for now.